If you're looking to create highly stylized paper cut backgrounds for your After Effects projects, then this tutorial will help enhance your projects fairly quickly. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. Adding a pop of color to your projects has never been easier. By adding paper cuts to solid layers, you can add beautiful details to your motion projects. Be sure to drop a like on the video and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create the shapes we're going to use for our paper cut background. We'll start with the background, so go up to Layer, New, Solid. We'll set the color to a nice light blue, click OK, and we'll rename this layer to Background. Next, select the Pen tool, set Fill to Solid Color. We'll set the color to a hot pink, click OK. Set Stroke to None, then we're going to click and drag to create this big waving shape that goes across the composition. We want this first shape to be near the top of the composition because we're going to be stacking the next shapes underneath of it. Also, make sure that the portion that is off of the screen also keeps curving around because when we animate it later, this portion will be visible for a moment. Now, we'll repeat this process a few times, creating more curving shapes of different colors that create a stack going down the composition like this. The last shape we'll make is a blue circular object at the bottom right of the composition like this. Once you're done, this is what your composition should roughly look like. Next, we're going to add the shadows and animate our shapes. Start by highlighting Shape 4, go up to Effect, Perspective, Drop Shadow. We'll set the distance of the drop shadow to 0 and increase the softness all the way up to 500. This creates a nice shadow aura around the shape layer. Now copy this drop shadow effect, paste it onto all four of the other shape layers, and now you can see the layers have a depth to them and it looks like there's some space in between them. Before we start animating, we need to fix our anchor points, so select shape layer 4, click the pan behind tool, and we're going to click and drag the anchor point off of the bottom right of the screen like this. We're doing this because we want our layers to animate from this direction. Repeat this process of moving the anchor point off to the bottom right for each of the shape layers like this. Now highlight shape layer 4, press S for scale, set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, set scale to 0%, move forward a bit on the timeline, set scale to 110%, move forward a tiny bit more, and set scale back to 100%. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease, open the graph editor tool and pull the right side of the first curve into the middle like this to smooth out the animation. Now the circle is animated to bounce into the composition like this. Highlight all of the keyframes again, press Ctrl C to copy them, make sure you're at the start of the timeline, then highlight the rest of the shape layers and press Ctrl V to paste that same scale animation onto all of them. Lastly, offset all of the shape layers by a few frames on the timeline so that their animations stagger in. And now you have this nice paper cut background with a simple bounce animation reveal. Lastly, I'll show you a few different ways you can use these techniques to make unique compositions. Looking at this composition, you can see we have the exact same drop shadow effect applied to four shape layers and they're animated in using a scale animation staggered just like what we did. The only difference between the compositions is the colors used and the shape of the layers. You can see the anchor points are put off to the different parts of the screen that they animate in from just like what we did. This next composition is the same thing, different colors, different shapes, and different spots that they're animating in from. Here we have our shape layers all animating in from the same direction and with similar shapes creating a wave effect. And for this last one we have the same thing but the waves are animating in from the opposite direction. The possibilities for how you use this simple technique are limitless. Just draw a handful of shapes, apply a draft shadow, and animate them in. Now you know how to make great looking paper cut backgrounds quickly and easily in After Effects. And if you're looking to save time and get access to a handful of these cool paper cut backgrounds, check out our Background Pro Pack, which features over 500 animated backgrounds for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Preview each background and then drag and drop them into the timeline. From there, you can change the colors with the click of a button, and you're finished. Be sure to check out our links in the description below. There you have it, a simple way to create colorful paper cut backgrounds in After Effects. Be sure to subscribe for more post-production tutorials every week, and remember, always be creating.